Hey guys, I'm so excited. I have my partner in crime with me. This is Michael. If so. you have been a long time subscriber for our business related things, you know this guy. If you're here for our reselling content, then he's new to you. So this is him. So today we work from home full time and we decided we were going to go on a day date and go thrifting because who doesn't love I lost my marbles. <laughs> Stop it. So we went to three different stores and Michael is kind of like picking up the rear as far as learning a lot of these brands and I'm kind of assigning him things to research and all of that jazz. He's the, the resident researcher between the two of us. So let's jump in. I'm really excited. This first store, I will say they do a wonderful job of overpricing a lot. Like would you say, like as you were looking through things, yeah, but the quality of things were better too, though. Right, they definitely other thrift stores like everything was nice. And I've asked before, so this this first one that we went to is a not for profit, or they're for profit. They're not like a that goodwill. Right, right, right. So they, I asked where they get their inventory because they have a lot of higher end things, and they purchase their inventory from various sources by the pallets or what have you. So they definitely price by brand versus. Goodwill, where most of the time all the shirts are the same Flat price, rates. at least here in yeah. Florida for us. So um, I do spend a lot of time going through things there because it's a little strange. Like they'll overprice, you know, some random brand and then underprice something that retail is a lot more. So it's like they kind of don't know some of the brands. Like, for example, if you are sourcing, so I'm a part time reseller. Uh, like I said, we work from home full time doing our, our real job, but I got into this with kids clothes, kids shoes. We have three kids and I like to dress them very cute in higher end brands because when you buy the higher end brands, you can then flip them and it's like your kids are dressed for free. So this is one of the brands I learned over the years, Livy and Luca. These are a size 12 and these retail for 40, 50, sometimes higher and they're great. They have a very long lifespan. You can pass them down to kids and their resale value is wonderful. So if you ever see Livy and Luca, Pick them up. Another that's the thing too is like the higher end brands are better because our kids stay in the same size for a long time. They do. And we passing them down. So we make them small. It's, it's <laughs> worth it. You know, buying cheap stuff, we'd be spending a lot of money replacing. Right. And and I've I've done that. Like I've bought them cheap school shoes that lasted. Delaney destroyed her shoes in what two weeks one time. Oh geez, yeah. So it was like the first month. And we, um, for example, the brand Play P L A E. I didn't pick up any of that today, but if you see that in the thrift stores, scoop it up because it holds its value, and they just don't wear out. They're they're like indestructible. So the next one I got, guys, these were two dollars. This is a, a prime example of them not pricing things for based on their their retail value. This is Jambu Kids. J M B U. The adult shoes like this, um, they they are they're great. It's kind of like a Keens, you know, Columbia type. I don't know, athletic just an outdoor brand. An outdoor, yeah. yeah. Walking. That's what I'm trying shoe. to say. But for two bucks, I will definitely be able to list these for around twenty. So you want to talk about these? What, what do you want me to talk about? I don't know. Just. Like I know anything about this stuff. Well, so my so here's a red shoe. No, I'm stuff. kidding. I'm kidding. They're Adidas. I know that much. I know, and I'm not sure. Like, there's a few different names for this this style of shoe. There's a few. There's a few models that have a, a similar look to them. Like, there's the Nomad. There's a Night Jogger. Like, there's a few different ones. But so a tip that I learned from one of my awesome friends, Kathy. She's over at Ginger Marvin. If you don't subscribe to her channel, definitely do that. But there is an app called Google Photo, Google Lens. You might have heard it. You literally it can be in a thrift store, take a photo of a shoe, put it into that app, and it will give you the name and pull up on all the other resale sites that it's on. But when you're looking at shoes, definitely look at like the inner tags, see if they have wear. These, I did say we paid up for these. We paid $6 for them because they're our son size. So, so yeah, we bought these. We bought these for our son. But then he, we will turn around and sell them because he didn't necessarily a cool shoe. need another like, pair of shoes. I'd, I'd right? a shoe. It was my size. Yeah. So, sure. um, yeah. But always go, you know, look at the bottoms. These are in great shape. Yeah. They're barely worn. Yeah. 
These I bought because they were 99 cents. They are Javianas. Javianas usually makes really great flip flops. I've never seen this style. They remind me of Sinooks, but they literally look brand new. Um, and I can't pass up something for a dollar. That's the problem. So these Michael found, but I will credit Kathy for sure for teaching me about this brand. That's why I love these kind of videos, like seeing what other people are picking up and why. This is the brand Healy's. Will we let our kids wear these ever? No. <laughs> Never, because they would have broken bones and our son is just getting over a broken arm, but they have little Healy deals. I mean, I think these are cool and I don't know, I've never sold them. Kathy sells them on the regular. They sell, they resell for quite a bit. So these are a cool camo. We found what, at least three other pairs. There was three pairs total. Two, one was a knockoff and then two were the Healy's. And, but they had like some significant wear and wear out. Yeah, this, so. These ones look great. These look shape. great, yeah. Oh, are you ready? Look what we found. Chacos! I just love saying the word Chaco. I, if you watched my recent uh, thread up kids shoe unboxing, we found some Chacos. Chacos are just great. I mean, they're not our style. They're not our kids style. We are not we are the outdoorsy type, but we make our kids wear like boots. rain boots kind of outside. So these are in literally like new condition and these retail for a lot. They resell for a lot. So definitely pick them up when you see them. All right. This was Michael's like best find, I think. It's a solid one. Yeah. Yeah. These are night joggers because I looked these up when I found them. Special edition though, collab with Disney Star Wars. So I mean, I don't even get to be a huge Star Wars fan to realize that's R2D2. The blue and white's pretty iconic. Yeah. But it's got that there on the tag, on the tongue there. Show the little, you can see there, a little R2. Oh, he's so Star cute. Wars there. But they're cool. I mean, it's like, it's a good find. Are you going to keep them? No, I'm not going to keep them, but they're a cool shoe. This is the problem with being resellers. You want to keep everything, and I do keep a lot. And it's the positive about buying things for your kids on the regular because kids grow so fast, they're constantly growing out of things. Yeah. But these are a men's size 11 and, 11 and a half, so they really are like your size. They are my size. And but it was a good was, find because it was today's color, so they were actually half off. What was the, um, like when you Google it, it, what are these going for? $100. $100. Bucks. Yeah. Yeah, and you can tell, yeah, like I said, by looking on the inside, they are. These were, yeah. I mean, in the bottom too. Yeah, right, right here. They there's like a stain where like maybe they step in something. So like they were worn, but maybe like once. Once to Disney. Yeah, it probably got left behind in the hotel. Probably. Because that happens here. We're lucky. You can get a lot of cool stuff from Disney. Yes. That's basically brand new. Disney is like our second home. So, all right, these are a pair of Nikes. I wish these were our daughter size. Not yet. And like the typical me would say, oh, let's hoard them because we have size up bins in so many sizes, but we're going to list them. They're a size three and a half youth, but they are even on the insides. They are looking pretty new. The thing about Nikes, they've got a number in here where you can literally just type that in. It's going to give you the name of the shoe and everything, which is fantastic. Same thing, so. just a little discoloration on the bottom. Yeah. But no, no actual wear. Well, let's get this up here. Oh, these were a good find. I found these. Mm -hmm. So these are Adidas. Don't remember the name. I did look it up. I took a picture, did the whole Google lens thing. When you're like, here's the thing, just because you see Adidas or whatever, you've got to check comps before you leave the store. That's just part of the job as being a reseller. There are a few things. We found a really pair cool of Pumas and they looked cool. They looked cool. Really they were in different. great condition, but the comps were basically five dollars. Yeah, five dollars more than what we would have paid for them. So not worth it. So these I'm curious to looking more into. I know I will definitely triple my money, but inside of here where it has the size, it says sample. So I don't really know. I don't I didn't show you that part. I don't know what that means. Uh, I did see I didn't see this color, but I wasn't really looking particularly for this color. I was just looking for the style. So I know there's like yeah. one of these, there's an Adidas on particular make funny. It's like called the boost or something like that. So always an expensive one. Women's size seven. One of those or not. Again, a lot, a lot of those different models of Adidas, they, they look similar. This is a brand you definitely want to pick up when you see it. If it's in great shape, fits flop. 
These sell for great money. People like to wear cute shoes and get in shape while doing so. These are a US size eight, just a little great find. These are something I picked up just based on condition because they're in great shape. They look new because comps were kind of like from 20 to 50 all over the place. The brand is ABEO, ABEO Pro Light. They're super lightweight. These were in the kids section, even though it's like women's shoes. they are, they're women's eight and a half and they were super cheap. So I figured it was worth the risk because sometimes reselling is about taking risks. So those will definitely be able to ship first class. And these are a kid's shoe. Some people are not about selling kids stuff, but we sell on Kitizen, Poshmark, Mercari, some on eBay and kids stuff sells. and. Especially when it's a better brand. These are Uggs. As you can see they really weren't worn very often. Uggs, you've got to always make sure you're looking for inside here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a hologram and that QR code because uh, unfortunately a lot of brands are counterfeited and you can see it's got that Sherpa Ugg deal in there. So these are super cute. I wish they were our kid size. They are not. They're a uh, little kid size. 12. So. Between the two. Yeah, and last bag from here. Look, when you're when you're shopping, you get to shop for yourself. So Michael got this shirt for himself. It's a Columbia, the PFG fishing brand, outdoorsy kind of lightweight. It's a lake, lake shirt. And the cool thing is that we will this will end up being free. So when you sell, we'll recoup profits from selling one of these pairs of shoes and he gets to have a shirt for himself. Just like I got this for myself. Um, That's why you told me you probably already had that, and I, to justify, you're like, you okay, but mine. This shirt. was only four dollars no, for myself. This was four dollars, and yours was a little more than that. This is the brand Blue and Gray. So this is a good brand to look for. Check the comps, check the styles. This is like a cute little t-shirt dress, but I will probably use this as a nighttime lounge wear because that's basically what people wear these days. So that was our first stop. Very successful. Yeah, we bought the most at that store. I think we spent like $80. So we will be able to definitely make that money back. The next stop was this one, those two. These two bags. Yeah, we went to a Salvation Army, which I know they have those a lot of places. I was very excited to find these. Another brand I would have not known about had I not been watching YouTube. This is Hoka. Hoka 1-1, they've got a little toggle closure. These are size women's eight. Now you know men's sell better than women's, but they are, they are very, I don't know. I don't know anything about this brand other than they sell well. So, and these are in pretty great condition. I did pay up for these. I paid $15, which is probably the most I've, I've been on yes, anything. I but just because I wanted to have this brand in my shop, see how it does. Worst case, it's my size. I don't know that I'd ever wear these, but you know, it's fine. Uh, I just thought they were a cool color and we will see. I don't know anything about this brand other than Kathy sells it often and talks about it often. So there is that. These are a pair of Uggs, Ugg sandals. They are in really great shape. They were like $2, so why not? They are, I like to make sure they have sizes on them because when I get these thread up boxes and stuff without sizes, these are nine and a half. So great size to sell. This is something Michael bought for us. What did you buy? Uh, these are foldable <laughs> drinkware, plastic foldable drinkware. So eventually when we get to start cruising again, cause we cruise every year before last for year. Water. It's for water to take on the cruise ships. Mm -hmm. These are just water, just water, some, some plastic waterware, two bucks, brand new, four, three. Awesome <laughs> find, babe. There's the other Hoka and the other Ugg and this. So we are in Orlando, which means we come across a lot of Disney stuff. You'll see at the last stop we made and Disney stuff sells guys. Even if you're not a Disney fan, if you see official Disney parks merchandise, especially, the tag looks People like this. 
Like that means it was purchased within the parks, which means it was also probably available on Shop Disney, but you, you can't get it anywhere else. So this shirt is a men's large, which is your size, but we are past the holiday season, but don't not list stuff. People buy Christmas stuff all year round and you check comps on this one and it was looking like mm -hmm. what? Um, like 40 to $60, depending on the condition. And that's probably, this shirt probably cost 39 or $49 when it was in the parks. It's, it's crazy how much stuff costs. We were just at Disney yesterday and no joke. All right. And this is another stuff. This is our last stop. The last stop, right? That's, no, this is the same one. There. Same one. Okay. Yeah. These are naturalizer. Uh, I wouldn't typically pick up this brand. You know, sometimes it's about brand. Sometimes it's about style. What's on trend. These are the Harach, Harach style. I don't know. There's a lot of different brands that make this style. These are like a bronze, rose gold, silver, perfect condition. They might've been worn once. Uh, they are mm, a size nine and they were a couple bucks. So I was willing to take the risk because I thought they were cute. So. And another pair of tacos. These are women's, the other ones were kids, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, these are women's size 11. I have finally learned all of the sizes here on the back. 11 is a great size because it's not a super common size. Great colorway. I will wash these. I'll probably throw them in the washer because they have some dirt because someone probably wore them hiking. So that was it from that store. Third and final stop. Oh my gosh. This was just a local thrift shop that we have. I like selling shoes. If I could have one item to sell, it would be shoes. They're easy. They're easy to ship. They're, you can't really screw up and miss flaws because the picture, you know, were garments, you could maybe miss a hole, whatever, whatever. I love shoes. Something that we don't really sell much of. Holding shoes, though? pair of boots. Okay, when I was sourcing them, yes, I got home and saw there was a pair. Yeah. Anyway, something we don't do a lot of is like hard goods, toys, whatever. I couldn't leave not one, but two vintage Cabbage Patch dolls behind. I did pay. Oh, you picked up over two? Just the two, yeah. One I paid more. $7. There were more, but their hair were, what kind of, these are like twins. So I plan to list them together. This is an original Cabbage Patch top. The pants are not. These are actually vintage Disney newborn pants on this one. I might take those off. These clothes are original. So I don't know. Um, I told you we're dabbling in eBay. I have had an eBay account for over, gosh, 15 years because that's how I paid my way through college. So I will clean up their faces and probably list these together, brother and sister. I don't know. And so wait, these are Disney pants on this one? Yeah. These are straw like off topic, if you ever find anything with strawberries on them, strawberries sell. I don't know why, but yeah, these are, these Cabbage Patch dolls are from 1982. So definitely vintage, a little bit before my time. So we'll see. I'm not trying to make a ton off of them. If I just double my money, that would be great. This, this is the first store that has some random stuff. We got some sunscreen for ourselves. This is a great, the Honest Company, I paid five bucks for four things or something, so not part of this. Oh, and Michael got himself a beard shaper. Did you end up looking this up? You said I'm, I'm unkept. So. No, right now you're good. It was a little out of control a couple months ago. All right, a pair of mini Melissa's. I can never yes, leave. These things are like $10 on Amazon, so I okay. figured awesome. we'll try it. Many Melissa's are why you are watching me do this today. This is the reason I got into Kittizen in the first place. I just became obsessed with them and I'm not trying to be weird, but they smell they so good, right? They do smell good. They do smell good. Weird. These are a toddler size 10, which is actually our daughter's size. This is not my favorite style. No, I don't believe they were ever worn. Like, that's because they're clean. They're totally clean, totally everything. Uh, they were three dollars, you guys, and then I noticed that shoes were also forty percent off today. So two dollar eighty. Yeah, craziness. Many Melissa's will always sell. Oh, this is also yours. You bought a tether ball. Oh, for the kids. Outdoor yeah. things for two and, bucks and a bike cool. today. That's oh, we bought our kid a bike today. Yeah. I mean, so I did buy this also for myself. Not exactly the best thrift haul. 
But um, this particular thrift store had a bunch. So Disney, because we're local to Disney, donates stuff to a lot of local thrift stores. And typically I buy, I go to this store often. I will buy two of an item, sell one for at least double, get mine for free. But this is a fanny pack. I saw a couple on Mercari. They weren't selling for enough. I paid $5 for this. It's, it's official Disney Parks merchandise. Um, but it wasn't going to be worth my time to sell another one. Yes, I'm going to rock a fanny pack. We have annual passes to go to Disney at least once a week. This will hold my phone. And this was my treat for spending all day. Which is worth it because then I don't have to carry it. Right. So this is another one of those things. So this is what I'm talking about. I bought two of these. One for me, one to sell. Disney is expensive, guys. 69 Hold on. Let's see if I can show you. $69.99 for this from Disney. I bought size medium for me and to sell just because it's kind of, it is a onesie, friends. A short sleeve, like a lightweight sweatpant with material, with material, oh my gosh, with pockets, onesie, with mouse ears, rose gold mini ears. They were $10, so I did pay up for something. But there is no doubt in my mind that I could sell, this is $70 full price. I will lift one of them for $45, take offers and end up getting mine for free and maybe profiting a few bucks. Yeah. So that's the plan for- You have to wear it to Disney with your fanny pack. Oh, I absolutely will wear this to Disney with the fanny pack. And you know, some people might say, well, why didn't you buy more of them? Because this particular tip store we go to sells so much, they had at least, a hundred of those and extra small through medium and yeah, you know we definitely this, got like just some this we are definitely we are we are part-time resellers i don't have a ton of room in my house for it and we do have three kids here we do have three kids and we space. have an actual from home business that we run also so i wanted this i live in fantasy land oh my gosh how cute is this again disney parks the, these shirts were 40 dollars, guys and people pay it and they were $5 at this thrift store and they don't mark the tags out anything. So I got one to sell, one to keep for me and I, 40 bucks, I will list it for probably 30 and take offers. And then I'll have mine for free and I didn't have to buy it from the theme park. And I mean, even with the past Florida discount, I wouldn't get it for that cheap. No. So cute. That was it. Yeah, that was it. That was, that was it. So that was our day date, three thrift stores. We probably, we left our house around 1030, right? 10 or so. Three hours. About three hours, three, three stores. We took our time. It was a lot of fun. And I love that Michael's joining, a, joining me on this like side hustle because why not? Right. I mean, he has been telling me for years to get a hobby. And I have had several collecting Ray Dunn mugs, buying mini Melissa shoes, cloth diapering. All of my hobbies have always cost us a lot of money. Yeah. No, it's true. I mean, yeah, I can't, I can't knock the fact that you've gotten to a hobby that makes money too. Yes. So we are January 19th today and I have profited. We did finally start spreadsheets and all of that. And I know what I've paid for items and all of that jazz. And I, we are, I've profited $700 in my sales since January 1st, and I really haven't. And that's keeping stuff too. Right. right. And I really haven't work, worked this resale business. This is just kind of on the fly. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching our Thrift With Us haul, and we'll come back again soon. Bye. See ya.